Now we're back to CapCut. Let me show you a simple before and after effect. So it's one of these slight transitions you could say. We'll copy the original clip. So Ctrl C, Ctrl V, or just put it two times in your timeline via the plus sign. Go to the top one, make your adjustments, maybe drag the under adjustments basic. Or you can, for example, add a filter. Let us do that. It doesn't matter what effect you apply, the effect works with everything. But let me use something that we can clearly see. Maybe this humble filter. And it's a strong contrast to the original. I add it to the footage, click on the plus sign. And then I select this filter and the top clip. Right click and then create a compound clip. Now this filter is only applied to our copy. So if I make this invisible, we can see the original below. Totally different color grading or totally different style. Let's go to video and mask for the top one and we use horizontal. You can rotate this now, for example, in this direction. And this would start then from right to left. We put it outside of the frame at the start position. So we are at the beginning of our clip and the mask is fully to the right. And now we create an animation by adding a keyframe right here. Then go maybe to the center around here. We need to find our mask, so I just type in 500 and now we can see it. I can drag it to the left outside of the frame. Minus 960 is a good value here. And if I play this now, you can see it gets slowly from right to left blended in or masked in would be the correct term here. You can reposition this keyframe to make it faster. Just drag this one to the left. If you want to have the other direction, let me undo this animation. I rotate it, but this time like so to minus 90 degrees. And then I drag it at the start position on the left fully outside the frame on the left. Start the animation via keyframe. Go a little bit forward. I have to find it. Let me use minus 500. There it is. I drag it fully to the right. And now if I play it, it goes from left to right. Yet again, a little bit slow. So let me pause this and I drag the keyframe a little bit to the left to speed it up. Oh, that's all there is. If you want to add kind of like a uh, let's say border, a white line where this transition happens. Let me show you how that is done. We we'll go to media library and I use a white background. It should pop up right here under trending. If it doesn't just type in white into the search bar, you should find it. Once it is selected, give it a mirror mask, rotate it and then left click drag so that it gets thinner. We want to go to start position. And then drag it fully to the left as our mask slides in from left to right. Minus 960 should be the position. Or we can even go further to the left. So if you don't want to see it at the start, maybe minus 1000 should be good value. Then go to your keyframe here. We have minus 960 on the left and 960 on the right. Let me select the white element and then add these values for the position as well. Let's start here. I play it. It's now exactly at the position where the mask is, but I'm not happy with the start as we can see a little bit of the white line. To fix that, we'll select the white element. Minus 972 is fine for this thickness of the line. So play it, it's still on top of the mask where it should be. And this is how you can create this before and after effect in CapCut. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.